Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Hello? Hello, can I help? Yeah, it's Russell, I'll be about five minutes, love. Okie dokie, no problem, we'll get it ready for you. Right, bye bye. Okay, bye. No, no problem, bye bye. Fancies me here, I reckon. Can't do enough for me. Don't know how to make a move on her. Like that, you know. Like that. Put the old Elkers on today and rip it up. You know what today's gonna bring? Eh? I wonder what today's gonna bring. Other than that, I'm alright. Well, it's been an entertaining weekend, hasn't it? Really. When you think about it. Everybody keeps asking my opinion on this uh, 25 quid thing where the earners decided to charge you all. Well, if you pay it, it's up to you people, isn't it? If you're going to pay it, I mean, people keep saying to me, I'm hardcore, porky, I'm hardcore. So, are you? But yeah, you're going to pay it. Hardcores don't pay it. I can't tell people what to do, but. We all know what's going on, don't we? Hey, 25 quid, it's only another fiver. They're counting on all you people who are going to say, do you know what? I'm going to pay it, it's only another fiver. Or I'll get some other mate to come round and we'll all chip in, which is all fair enough. But let me just say this to you, right? I've got some notes wrote down and when I get into office this, this morning I'm going to rip it up but let me just say this the saying it's going to do projected buys of 2 to 3 million so if it does 3 million buys Ruiz Joshua an extra fiver this is on top of what it's already pulling in if it does 3 million right at 5 quid that's 15 million quid going in the pot 20% of 15 million is another 3 million in Eddie Earns coffers. That's before tax man obviously but so Eddie's gonna get an extra 3 million quid projected earnings on the upside. This is how the, this is how it all works. On the upside. Now I was looking at how it worked 15 years ago, the uh, on some papers the other day, and it's changed so much. It's all in favour of the promoter now, not the fighter. But, like I've just said there, it's uh, it's getting to the stage now where they're just abusing the power, aren't they? You know, we're saying a word, are they? Only me and Ultra Tech Sports Raw. And everybody knows I've been kicked off Twitter for constantly digging them out and pulling them up on things. They've got a bit of power, aren't they? got a bit of power. Uh, what can you do? I'm not bothered anyway because the followers on this channel, on the YouTube channel, we all stick together and they're uploading the videos onto YouTube for me because they're loyal people aren't we, us hardcore bunch. We're only a small little minority aren't we but we don't agree with it. Don't mean to say we're going to be running around outside Eddie Earn's house in Ingots and Stock, Essex. We're not going to be outside his gaff, are we? With or at Brentwood in Great Worley, his office. We're not going to go there with placards because he's a businessman, isn't he? If he can manipulate the system, we'd love to him, but it affects everybody else, doesn't it? Boxers, trainers, managers, cutmen, everybody else in the boxing industry. They all know what's going on, but they're not going to say a word because they want to work with these people. Well, fair enough, I ain't got a problem with that. I haven't got a problem with that. But don't go on social media tickling at his feet and then slagging him to me. Don't do that. Don't do that to me because I'm a dangerous cat. So don't do it. Don't do it to me. You've got a problem. Be genuine. Speak. Because when you we have to tell the truth on these matters, don't we? Because when you tell the truth, we know what's going on. We see facts and we see reason, don't we? You don't speak the truth on these matters, well. 
you know what I mean? Sometimes we just have to make a stand. And I'm, I'm saying my bit. It's therapeutic for me. I don't agree with it and I'm outspoken, so that's that. So, if people don't like it, tough. I don't care. I care at all. To be honest. I don't care. I don't care what people think anymore. I've got to the stage now where I just gonna do what I want. I am anyway, I know I do what I want with this channel, don't I? In two minutes. I'm gonna put moves on, I wanna put phone number but playing it cool on playing it cool. But uh like I just said there it's uh it's getting to the stage now where it's becoming it's becoming a bit of a joke in it really. It's, we're, going, we're going on the same old ground, ground, aren't we? They're doing the same old thing. It's just, do you know how it's easy for me to predict what these people do? I study the game, don't I? I study them as people. I read all transcripts, transcripts, you know, a few weeks ago. And anything I can pick up on, you know, Dennis will ring me and say, what do you think to this? Nah. People can say, oh, you wash his car and this and that. Listen, if Dennis is going out of the country, right, for a couple of weeks, and he's going to leave me keys to 60, 70 grand cars, and so you can use that if you want, mosquito wash when I'm coming back. Do you think I'm just going to say no? Oh, no, you're right, then I'll use mine. I'll burn all my fuel off and oil and all that. Of course, I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, I'm out of ticket car wash. So what? I'll take my car car wash. I'll call it car wash here now. But... He's also going to pick me brains, isn't it? And ask everybody around him, like Nicola or Michelle or whoever's around him, Steve Crump, Richard Towers. You know, he's not going to make decisions on his own without asking everybody's opinion. And then he'll probably sleep on it. That's what you do, don't you, when you're in business? But I study the game, don't I? I study them, don't I? Hurts. I know what they've done with everything except the darts. I want to look at that this weekend when I get a chance. But I haven't got enough time in the day to do what I want to do, to be honest. I haven't got enough time. It's uh, just a time factor, isn't it, I suppose. It's sunny today, isn't it? But go, go online, right, Google Barry Hearn versus Steve Collins High Court. And then go through all the court transactions. And then you might come round to my way of thinking. You might understand a little bit about boxing. People like Helen uh, from Ireland, who uh, I speak to regularly on WhatsApp, and she's in touch with me. I respect her opinion. And uh, we pick her brains a lot. I pick all of your brains. I pick it all. This is what it's about, isn't it? I'm a brain thief, me. Brain thief. Pick all of your brains, all of yours. When Chris Medley used to come to office all the time, I used to pick his brains. Make whales, all of yours. Because that's what it's about, isn't it? Learning. We're all learning all the time, aren't we? We're always learning. So. Going to move it forward, yeah? Going to move it forward, yeah? Oh, I'm alright here. 
Uh, gotta get some pennies out, aren't I? No freebies here no more. Uh, I'll get a fiver. Just so happens I've got a fiver in my pocket. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, boxing, you've got to pick people's brains. Because if you don't, you can make mistakes. So you pick people's brains in industry, and uh, it allows you to move forward, doesn't it? I suppose. Have a look at this here. Uh, just some things I've jotted down here. Uh, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? On three. One. Two. We'll do this onto part two, eh? Is it? No, we'll leave it. One. Two. I told you all! I shook up the world! I told you all in June, didn't I? It was going to be 25 quid. And nobody believed me, did they? They all said I was making shit up. It's a lot. It's a cash out, isn't it? It's a cash out. They've got no faith in Anthony Joshua, but they're not going to tell him that, are they? Barry Hearn did the same thing with Chris Eubank Senior. Now, when Chris Eubank was his big meal ticket, he got beat by Steve Collins, didn't he? Now, if you're the champion, you would move... If you're the promoter of the champion, and he's just had all them defences like Eubank had, you would move hell and earth to get that in England, wouldn't you? You wouldn't want to go back over to Ireland, would you? You know, in the rematch, so... What happened? They went back to Ireland, didn't they? And he got beat, didn't they? And then they were crying about uh, their own decisions and that. Well, why didn't the Hearns put the money where the mouth were? Because they are motivated by money. Eubank had come to end of his career and they cashed him out. Anthony Joshua has come to end of his tether. Them styles like Joshua's don't last long. They were never really that good anyway. So what's happened? They're cashing him out in an away fight. So I will write on that. And like I've just said to you there, They've done the best to get every penny out at job, which is what they do for their clients. So, and I just said, you know what, they're going to put pay per view up. Yeah, I did speak to a few people. I'm not going to say who. I'm not going to drop them in it, but. It's annoying me with that now. You're annoying me. Stop. You're lucky to even be here, mate, so do a good job. But no, point I'm trying to make is this. Don't go too close to them wheels, mate. Powder coated. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is this. They want to get as much money out of, the, out of them as they can. Which is nothing wrong with that, is there, really? There's nothing wrong with that. But the point I'm trying to make is... They want to get as much money as they can because Joshua's showing all signs of a guy that's out his depth at this level. He's being molly cuddled, hasn't he? Now, speak to Ellen on social media. Uh, I think she's called The Celt, is it, on YouTube? I'm not sure what her Twitter handle is. She has a good understanding of boxing and I spoke about her many times. She went to that press conference, she didn't, didn't she, with Tyson Fury? and pulled Vladimir up. You know, on the rematch press conference, the fight that never happened, she went to the press conference and pulled Vladimir up about that sponge. Didn't she? How many years has this been going on? Good boxing person, Ellen, and I respect her opinion, but they're going to get as much money as they can out of the situation. Now, now Eddie Earn has said that subscriptions uh, are the way forward not pay-per-view but then he comes over back to England from America and he says pay-per-view is the way forward look at that eh I'm not going to say that that's a bit rude that I'm going to say something rude then but I'm trying to be professional but well, point I'm trying to make is this what is it, pay-per-view the way forward or subscription I don't know but he's just making it up as he goes along in my opinion I just pointed out to you that the projected earnings on the upside is up to 3 million buys. Now, 3 million buys at 25 quid, that's 60 million quid sterling. 
Is it free? Free twenty? No, seventy-five, isn't it? Seventy-five million. So they've got seventy-five million going in pot. Seventy-five million. So Eddie Earn will make twenty million on the upside off this fight. Twenty million. And like I just said to you, Eddie Hearn earned forty-five million last year. Now somebody who I know who's at Xbox said it didn't believe that and I said well it's a true story Eddie earned 45 million last year alone just out of boxing and he's going to make 20 million off just a pay-per-view that's not including the commercial and everything else that's tied in with it and all other TV TV deals the actual sky pay-per-view 20% of 75 million is now is it what is it 20% is 15 million isn't it yeah, they're 75 million. And then you've got all add-ons and everything. Yeah, 20 million. He'll look to get 20 million from this, yeah. I spoke about somebody who knows about how pay-per-view works. Eddie will look to earn 20 million off this. And you know what? If he beats Ruiz, they will then say, and this is an exclusive, it's one each, let's do a third. That's how they're going to play it. So they'll be step aside money in that. Because if he beats Ruiz easy, he's, he's back on form, and they'll want to do another one rather than lose belts to uh, Wilder. We'll try and sell it as a, th a trilogy. And that's just how it goes. It's not like UFC and that. This is why I wanted Dana White to uh, 16 minutes. This is why I wanted Dana White to uh, come and save boxing. But whatever happened to Joshua Wilder fighting? It's lost a bit of its sparkle now, hasn't it, that? Why has it lost its sparkle? Well, in my opinion, it's lost its sparkle for the simple reason Wilder's got a draw on his record and Joshua's got a loss. So... It is what it is, isn't it? But we're talking about a guy here who says he's an hardcore boxing fan in Eddie Earn, the same guy who didn't want uh, Ruiz to... Uh, didn't want, sorry, White's B-sample to get out there. And it isn't Eddie looking at getting his licence took off him in Nevada over something. I don't know, I read something online. He's in a bit of trouble with some over some... something to do with Julio Cesar Chavez, something like that. He wants to put a drug cheat like Chavez on Dazone. So what does Eddie earn? think about boxing, really? He's not bothered, is he? He's not bothered about boxing, is he? They wanted to put drug cheats on, what's all that about? Eh? It's just pure greed on a massive scale. It's, it's a gargantuan scale of greed, isn't it? Does everyone know that Eddie earned 45.4 million last year? You can all check this up online if you go look. That's £910,000 a week or something he was on last year alone. That's Ronaldo money, isn't it? But Ronaldo can play football. Eddie Earn can't box. Eddie Earn's not in the ring taking all the blows, is he? You know what I mean? Eddie Earn's never had a fight in his life, but yet he says he had four fights as Eddie Hills. There's no amateur records in the UK because people have checked this. Frank Warren's checked it. I've checked it. There's no amateur records record of anything of Eddie Hills, Edward Hills, Eddie Edward or Ed Hills, or the same Eddie Edward or Ed Hearn. No record whatsoever. All right. Yeah. No record whatsoever. So. Born liar. Pinocchio. Old Pinocchio. Somebody said to me, Porky, Eddie makes everything about him. Did you see him going on about how Joshua's getting 36 mil for the first one and now 59 million? Well, that's 95 million, isn't it? Well, what's 20% of that? Oh, that's on the upside, obviously. It's about just under 20, just under 20 million, isn't it, is it? 19 million, 30. 95 million, Ten, what's 20% of that? 19 million. Probably right, they, they say he's going to get up to between 15 and 20 million, he's not throwing a punch. So, 
<laughs> he's just made 13 and a half million on that Dazon fight. So, Eddie is the guy with the cash. He's the, known as the billion dollar man. So, so what can you do? It's one of them things, isn't it? But, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's getting to the stage now where. You've all got to make a stand, aren't we, and not buy it? I mean, you know, they can't shut me down on YouTube. They can try the best, but YouTube are partners with me, aren't they? Whatever I do on here, they take a cut, don't they? Is it half or just under half or just over half? So they're not going to get me off here if I'm, if I'm a good boy. Twitter, I'm not really bothered about Twitter, to be honest. I will for a couple of days, but I've got access to another account off a good friend of mine, but my heart's not in it, I don't think, now. It's like you can't trust somebody, in it. But it's sad what's going on here. It's sad, but they're saying that Eddie's going to end it with 30, 32 to 38 million out of both the Ruiz fights. It's unbelievable. So he never found a punch in his life. But I feel vindicated. I feel vindicated mentioning this. I feel vindicated about it for the simple reason that I got it right. I got it right that Billy Joe Saunders was going to match room. I told you all months before. People said they were crazy that Billy were loyal to Frank. No. I got it right about John Fuchs training Kell Brook. Everybody said I was full of shit. And I think I've got it right that Kell Brook will never fight again. So, you know, I, I, I'm only doing my best for my channel, aren't I? And where my channel's going at the moment is, we're looking at uh, charging people. Might be having to pay a quid a month. We're going to see. Uh, we're going to see. We're going to see because I'm not going to put. All right, mate. I'm not going to put, put all this effort into the channel to uh, to not get rewarded. I mean, I'm going to be full time with it now. But I'm not doing it for. For a six quid a week YouTube money, it's not going to pay. Won't even pay me dinner bill, will it? Well, like I said, here's a message to all you managers, trainers, and boxers out there: do not bitch to me, and then go on TV and tickle Eddie Earn's feet. I think I mentioned that. I don't want people ringing me up and having a chat and saying they're unhappy about things because there's just certain people who, who I trust. You know, it takes time to trust people, but it's no good telling me. And then going out there and tickling his feet because she'll just cheese me off. Alright. You know, I've been booted off Twitter three times now. I had a 20,000, a 5,000, 2,000, or what it, a 20,000, a 5,000. No, I think it was about 1,100 and odd, one it? Three times, so it's no good me going back on there because all these trolls are just going to do, just going to report me, aren't they? So. Well, that's what you're up against. They got rid of Ultra Tech, didn't they? Ultra Tech Sports Raw. Should we give him a bonus? We gave him a 50p tip. But, uh, but yeah, they got rid of Ultra Tech, and you know, it, I don't agree with everything Ultra Tech says, and he don't agree with everything I say. But I think we're both on the same page. Uh, somebody sent me a link saying I've got a refund for some car tax. And I'll just give me bank details out. Watch them things for car car tax, and uh, I don't know who's done that, but I fell for it. So I've got some mate messing about on that. I got two in space for half an hour on Saturday. So watch yourself with these links asking for your bank details. I keep getting links from somebody sending me emails saying the Carl Frotcher's mum. How sad is that? Because Carl's had problems with people getting his bank details. So just watch yourself and don't get your details out on social media. What you were convincing and how are they like an idiot gave me bank details out. What a prat. Even I fell for it. And I'm supposed to be sharp. Well, sling that chamois, boy. You bent me badge. You bent me merc badge, mate. Look, straighten it up. No.
You've done a good job there, mate. I won't be able to drive off with that badge, Ben. You know what I'm like? Listen, I don't know if any of you people know this, but if you buy a Mercedes, and this is a 14 plate, but it's five year old now. But if you buy a Mercedes, now nah, they don't have them badges on, do they? They're all flat. So I had to, had to uh, go get one of them. It was a fortune and uh, have it fitted, but uh, what's the second one on? Because people pull them off, don't they? I don't know why. A bit like they used to take them Beastie Boy ones, didn't they? So, all right, yeah. See you, mate. Let's have a look, what we're on here. 26 minutes. Oh, look at this lot here now. Oh, this is just great, this, isn't it? Look at that lot. Oh, we love a bit of traffic jam, don't we? It's not like a Monday evening traffic jam, is there? Monday, uh, Monday uh, dinner time traffic jam, is there? Hey? Look at that, that's crap, isn't it? That's terrible, isn't it? Oh. Porky's lunch. What's Eddie doing with Martin J. Ward? Hey, I don't know. So, I think we'll end this video now on this note. Right? Do not buy the pay per view for 25 quid! If you do, you are not hardcore! Get a stream. VIPbox.com. Alright? Type into your Google. What you do, you type into your Google, right? You type this in. Top 10 streaming sites. And it'll tell you about them all. That's what you do. Alright? Top 10 streaming sites. When I get to office, I've got a scratch on one of the meals. I'm going to touch it up with this. Don't be able to move forward. I've got a bit of OCD on it. But yeah, that's not good I'm afraid, it's not good at all, but do not buy the pay-per-view at all, stream it, or watch it next day, don't you? I mean, it's in middle of the night anyway, isn't it, Saudi? But, don't buy it. Alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. I want to give a shout out to Innovation Alloys, to AJ. Hobson uh, in his Bayesian Allies. AJ, you're the top man. And uh, thank you for your advice and for backing channel. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging. And I think that's about it, really. Should we give Den a shout out? Should we give Den's company a shout out? Nah. We're not giving Den a shout out, shall we? We'll leave him. He's got enough money. Go on then. Mondeo, 54 plate, you know who I am, so peace out, alright.